studio tried to convince Ridley that he should shoot this in Eastern Europe. And he said, how do you feel about that? And I said, making Robin Hood, we have to make it in England. It'll make a fine pin cushion! King this We filmed in the beautiful countryside around London, and a village was built there. They actually built a village. Alan Adele, Will Scarlet, and Little John, Lady Marion. They planted crops, and because the film was delayed by a year, those crops were then harvested. It was as if we really had something very authentic in the middle of the English countryside. We got um, permission from the Queen to shoot in places that they hadn't actually allowed the public into before. So these twisted oak forests and stuff, you know. It was funny, actually, Prince Andrew visited the set one night. But I didn't realise he was such a student of, of the history of, of, uh, of England over the ages, you know, so we actually had a great chat. The great thing about Britain for me, being um, an Antipodean, you know, Englishman, is the bounty that this small island can continue to, to give up. The way the leaves come out here, you know, where the, the, the winter seems to have, like, you know, pushed everything down and then suddenly everything's back again with a vengeance. Everywhere you look is indicators of the, the struggles of past generations and the achievements of past generations. You build a country like you build a cathedral from the ground up. Empower every man. Myths and legends have existed since 850 AD. I think there was a Robin the Beheader. If you want to know anything about the heritage of our country, you can do worse than go and visit where it comes from. The spirit lives on in the ancient oak trees of Sherwood Forest, and the spirit lives on here and here in our hearts and our minds. We have the exhibitions here in Sherwood Forest and also the one at Nottingham Castle. All these costumes that you see in here were worn on the film. This film is not Men in Tights and it is a very raw and gritty film and it is very closely related to historical fact. That is going to be a fascinating exhibition. I went in for more costume fittings on this than I think any other film. The attention to detail is something that really demands as a filmmaker. I said to the, the sword maker, I said, it's, Opal is like this, you know, it's a modern stone, it's not ancient and he, and he just sort of Little do you know. It's great to see the actual costumes, which is really rare to see. It will bring people from all over the world to our fantastic city. There's so much to actually go and find out about the real Robin Hood. We just came from the, the Justice Museum, a place where they would toss prisoners. They think that the actual Robin Hood was thrown down there and escaped. So it's a really thrilling history, and it all comes to life in context of the real story here in Nottingham. We are men of the hood. Knowing that you were on a horse that had an original saddle, knowing that you were using a sword that was made in exactly the same way as the swords would have been, and then you're fighting guys, you know, it's like, it's, it, it's almost exactly how it would have been. And what fascinates me is how these guys ever fought at all, because the weight of the chainmail and the armor means that all those sequences you see where people in armor fight for hours and hours, I can't believe that's true. I think they may be two or three blows and they all had to lie down and have a cup of tea. I love being in Wales. You know, my uh, grandfather, my dad's father, he was from Wrexham. Ah! But as Kate, Blanchett has said it. Where we both live is a place called New South Wales. It was like, oh, that's why they call it New South Wales. You know, this long crescent-shaped beach with the, you know, the deep sand and, and everything. It's a gorgeous place, you know. One of the most beautiful spots on the earth. I mean, that beach is absolutely gorgeous. I was there with my family and my two small boys, and they were absolutely riveted by the event. We have 800 casts, 1,500 cast and crew, 130 horses, 80-something trucks, um, 40 ATVs. 15 cameras, a helicopter. It was a massive undertaking. Beautiful hot days. Guys had their chain mail offline in the sun. The surrounding towns we visited were always very hospitable. You find some incredible sort of tea shops and people to chat with. <laughs> What I did with the, the Merry Men is wherever the opportunity arose, wherever we visited, 
um, without announcement or, you know, whether in Wales or whether in Derbyshire or whatever. And we would just go and sit quietly in the corner of a pub somewhere until we felt the temperature of the room was right and then put on a bit of a show. Well played. And the one thing I really love about England is that you can get a sing-along happening at the drop of a hat, mate, you know. Um, and the voices are pure and melodic, you know. Go to any football game and what erupts from the terrace is just really exciting. Visit Britain. Everybody should.